Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Friday night, and we begin with an ABC News exclusive. The FBI calling in President Trump's sons to reveal to them foreign hackers tried to break into the Trump organization. The FBI calling Don Jr. and Eric Trump to an emergency meeting at its New York office. There is also news tonight about the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, the president's advisor. Now, his meetings with Russian officials are under the FBI microscope. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas leading us off. Tonight, law enforcement sources tell ABC News President Trump's eldest sons were summoned to an emergency session at the FBI's New York field office earlier this month. The reason a warning that foreign hackers were trying to compromise Trump organization computers. Because it involved the president's children, a special VIP notice was sent to senior officials in New York before the May 8th meeting, which happened to occur just a day before FBI Director James Comey was fired. The source of the attempted hack on the Trump's computers was unknown, but tonight Eric Trump is denying that any computers were compromised. Still, the company remains a top cyber target. Hackers would love to get into the president's family business to try to get information that might be valuable. They could sell it or they could use it to try to damage or compromise the president in some way. News of the Trump son's meeting with the FBI comes as Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is under scrutiny by the FBI for his contacts with Russians, specifically for two meetings last December, one between Kushner and the Russian ambassador, which included former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, who was fired for misleading the White House about his Russian contacts and the second meeting between Kushner and the head of a Russian bank with ties to the Kremlin, that bank under U.S. sanction. The Washington Post tonight reporting that U.S. intelligence officials intercepted communications of the Russian ambassador claiming that Kushner wanted to use secure Russian facilities to communicate during the transition. ABC News has not independently confirmed this report. Jared Kushner is the kind of person that anyone conducting an investigation right now would want to talk to. There's no evidence that Kushner is the target of the FBI investigation into Russian meddling in the election, and no evidence of wrongdoing by Kushner. These are contacts that might have been totally, totally innocent and benign, as well as those that might uh, have succumbed somehow to those Russian uh, efforts. But intelligence officials worry that the Russians had a very specific plan to target those in Trump's orbit. So let's get to Pierre Thomas live at the FBI tonight. And Pierre, your sources saying right now, no evidence of any wrongdoing by Kushner, but great interest from the FBI to learn what Kushner knows from those meetings. David, to be blunt, the FBI will want to know all the details. But Kushner's lawyer says her client is willing to cooperate and has volunteered to share with Congress anything he knows about those meetings, David. Pierre Thomas leading us off tonight with his exclusive, Pierre.